Number four, we're told triangle NEW has angles W and angles E congruent. So angle W is congruent to angle E. That's given. And we're told that NS is an angle bisector. If NS is an angle bisector, then that means angle 1 and angle 2 have to be congruent. Because NS is angle bisector, or you can say definition of angle bisector, either way is fine with me. I'm trying to prove that triangle NEW is an isosceles triangle. So first, I'm going to prove that these two triangles on the sides are congruent. Then I'm going to prove that my sides are congruent and then use the definition of an isosceles triangle. So I'm going to say that NS is in both triangles, so it has to be congruent to itself. So either reflexive property or same side. Then I would say that the two smaller triangles are congruent. So triangle NSW is congruent to triangle NSE. And I used side angle angle there. My next step then would be to say NW is congruent to NE because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. And then my very last step is to say triangle NEW is isosceles. By the definition of isosceles, right? Two sides are equal.